Okay, welcome back to Ponage as we're getting set for some tag team action. And here's two guys we haven't seen in a while. We haven't seen these guys since last Sunday, our first CTV all the way back in February. Ugh. Our executive producer, the nameless one, is having a lot of fun dealing with the damn union. It's freaking a you putz local 010. The bastards. But anyway, here comes our BCW tag champions here. And they're going to defend their belts tonight. Like I said, this is one of the rare title defense we are going to have in Ponage here. I mean, not this is not a rare opportunity. Well, then again it is, but... I botch! Botch! Sorry. But anyway, this Indianapolis crowd, they are like playing the fans. They haven't seen these guys in a while. And here come their opponents, which... Okay, prepare to laugh, guys. Yep. The, these jokers from Greenwich, the Mean Street Posse, is Pete Gas, and this this is the debut of Rodney. We haven't seen Rodney since uh, probably back from the Attitude Era, but but still, these two like Pete Gas and Joey Ebbs, oh, they're just jokes. All right, they're just they're basically like a bad joke gone wrong, and apparently, have much recently they've been trying to. Push their album through called um, Straight Out of G Whistle, and believe me, it's only sold like I don't know, like 500 copies. Oh Jesus, Mary and Joe, <laughs> Wigga, please. I like that, but like I said, their latest cop, their latest album, Straight Out of G Whistle, only sold like 500 copies. Probably a bunch of nitwits like them. And here, here's our belt boy. I'm loaned from WWE because. We don't like WWE so much, so we're going up. Oh, God. Please, please. Thank you, Adam Higgins. Uh oh. Thank you. At least shut that bastard up. Because I don't want to hear any knowledge, alright? But anyway, let's get started in this match here. Bosch on the drop kick. Okay, locking horns. Snap their takeover. Locking up once again. Irish whip. And oh, a little elbow bash right to the to face. Let's turn. I don't know. I don't know. I think I've been been drinking way too much uh, of a Jägermeister, but that's okay. Got a struggle here. We got a forearm shot. Oh, head butt right to the sternum onto uh, Adam Higgins. Rodney actually doing pretty well against Adam Higgins. Here's a headlock, but he got his foot on the ropes. Okay, locking horns and oh, what a scoop and a slam by Rodney here. He's got him in a headlock. Will he tap? Will he tap? No, he won't. All right, locking horns once again. Irish whip. Adam Higgins trying to battle back here. Here, after getting out, oh, runs up the turnbuckle. Avoids it. Oh, it's oh, who he can run but it reverts into a Boston crab. Man, Rodney looks like he's got Adam Higgins' number here. I'm not sure about this one. There's a drop toe by Adam Higgins. Locking horns once again. Oh, nice leg trip right there. Thought he was going for a drag whip, but he reversed into a leg trip. And oh, off the ropes. Oh, nice Uri Canrana right there. He's got another figure four. Oh, a reverse figure four. Will he tap? No, he won't. And he went off the ropes there. Scott Dorn got out of the way. And oh, back body drop by Rodney. He's got in that headlock again. Doesn't tap to that one. Locking up once again. Put her back here. Elbow to the back. Picking her up, up. Oh, Adam Higgins back too. Oh, double hex handle to the back right there. Yeah, good strategy here. Tag back in Scott Dorman. Up here you go. Oh, nice double drop kick by Adam Higgins and Scott Dorman. He's got him in that. Yeah, he's got him in that submission hold again, but it ain't going to count as Adam Higgins is no longer the legal man. And Ryan was a little running scared here and tags in Pete Gass. Locking up, going, going again. Elbow to the back by Scott Dorman. Oh man, nice oh, little kettle punches right there. Some little kettle drum punches right onto Rodney here. Okay, locking horns. Oh, I don't think PK is gonna win that one. Oh, I'm surprised he managed to get out of there because Scott Dorman, he's one of the bigger, he's one of our bigger competitors in the tag team division. Believe me, you don't. If Adam Higgins doesn't take you out, he will. I can show you that one. Locking up once again, Irish whip. Oh, stops right there at the ropes. Locking up once again. Oh, forearm shot right to the head of Scott Dorman. Pete Gas so far pretty much dominating Scott Dorman here. But like I said, he probably only getting warmed up here. Me Street Posse. 
Oh my God! They may be bad rappers, but they're actually good athletes. But they might have a they have a shot at getting those titles tonight. But but uh oh, here comes Scott Dorman. Whoa! What hang time? Big time brain buster right there. Locking horn once out. Oh, did you, did you see that? He just used his arm just to trip him up. There it goes again. Use that arm just to trip him up right there. Big boots to the face. He blocks that. Oh, peak ass knocks him down again. He's trying to keep Scott Dorman from the ground. Big time scoop and a slam right there onto uh, Pete Gas. Oh, there's that. There's that arm sweep again. He was covering a pin, but his hand was on the ropes. Go, go for it. Trying to drag him back to the ring. Oh, knee to the face right there. Go back up. Oh, he just fell back with it. I, and I look like Pete Gas got the worst of it. Oh, arm breaker right there. Trying to go right for the ring. Oh, tri go for a rock down. Oh, got some corner punches right there, but it's too close to the ropes that time. Oh, there he goes. That delayed brain buster once again. Oh, what hang time right there. Oh, my God. This is... This, this is a pretty slow paced match here and that, that puts the advantage right on Scott Doran's favor here oh spinning lariat another spinning lariat first one connects but the second one he barely missed jump and chop to the chest like a horse once again another jump and chop to the chest oh, it looks like going for a figure four will he tap will he tap no he won't tying up once again and oh scoop and a slam by Scott Doran tags back Adam Higgins Locking up and oh, looks like that was a bad idea. Oh, nice back body drop counter with that, and setting him up, knocking him right down again. He's got him in a submission here. Will he tap? Will he tap? Oh, no, he won't. Locking up once again. Oh, who did come around? He's covering a pin. Too close to the ropes that time. Referee Baldo Gillespie asked to break the hole. There's another who he come around, but it doesn't follow up with a pin. Going off the ropes, he's going, oh, looks like going for a fair up and a reverse to Hootie coming out, dropping the pin, one, two, and no, two count only, uh oh, is he going for it, is he going for it, ow, go to fucking sleep, and it looks like Pete Gas is out, <laughs> wigga please, I like that, and Adam Higgins takes out Pete Gas with that go to fucking sleep, and they retain their titles. Oh my god, this, this was a hilarious match. It was a good match nonetheless, but it was a, a hilarious finish. And look at this. I think he gets a little disoriented here. As they, they come out, they come out, pretty much tap each other on the back, chum each other, and they're heading out of here and all. Oh my god. What is he doing out here? Chuck Osborne is coming to the ring. I don't know what he wants. But as we all know that he's partnering up with Dave Schaefer for, for a mob action match coming up for our next CPV entitled Mob Action. And looks like he's been looking for some partners here and I don't know, maybe that's part of why he's coming out. I don't is he coming out for a recruitment drive or just to just to beat someone up? I'm not sure. I don't blame Chuck Osborne here. I mean I mean I'd be pissed if if a uh if an up-and-comer like Jim Coombs came out with Cobble Lauer and he just simply pwned your ass, but still, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I like Chuck Osborne. I don't approve his methods at all. But come on, you gotta give credit where credit's due. Jim Coombs and Cobble Lauer pulled off basically what I thought was impossible on beatdown. But Chuck Osborne's got the stick. Let's listen. So it looks like Chuck Osborne's got two more people, maybe a third, in the Mean Street Posse. And, whoa, look, what's going on in the back here?
Well, how about that? Within a space of a few seconds, looks like both teams have got themselves a third and a fourth. Uh-oh, looks like we might have a fifth on that, on Jim and Kyle's team. The plot thickens. 